You guys ever watch Men in Black? Will Smith breaks out the noisy cricket. That's how I feel every time I pick up one of these tip-ups from Beretta. But I do like these guns, and you know, these things do hold a special place in my heart. I've got quite an interesting collection of Beretta Minxes from the 50s, and anytime Beretta puts out a new tip-up, I'm always really excited to see what's going on. And when I saw these guns come out, I knew immediately, as much as I love to shoot suppressed, and as much as I always wanted a suppressed Minx in 22 short, I had to get a 21A. Well, they were nice enough to send a couple of these out for us to check out here for you today. We got a couple of threaded tip-ups. One is a 21A and 22 long rifle. This one's set up in a nice classic configuration with a nice set of grips. And we got more of a tactical model, the 3032 Tomcat. This is a 32 ACP semi-auto set up in the flat dark earth. This one is wearing a Huxworks Cash 9K suppressor. It's a flow through. Check this out. Let's shoot the 32 first. All right. Now there's a couple of ways you can load a tip up. Now I'll show you the way I like to load a tip up. And this is kind of one of the charms of the tip up. You go ahead and put the full mag in there. All right. And then you want to take just a single round and drop it in the chamber and that's it. You're good. Now this is a double single action. Both the 21 and the 3032 are double single action. Uh, so I'll tell you what, right out the gate, let's try a double action squeeze right out the gate. 32 ACP out of a tip up with a can on it. Listen to this. I like that. Okay, let's shoot a few things. All right, so really cool stuff. Let's shoot the 22. I'm just gonna showcase both these guns in this one video. Uh, of course, the 21A you can get in the flat dark earth configuration and the 3032 you can also get in this classic configuration with the nice wood grips if that's something you want. Um, this is a JK armament suppressor that's on this particular gun. All right, this is CCI standard velocity ammunition. All right, let's go ahead and get a mag in this bad boy. I'll tell you what, we'll do the same thing as before. We'll give her a little starter package here. So the mag is hot, the slide is, is forward, we tip the barrel up and we can place the round in there. Now, if the chambers are clean on these things, you should be able to flip this lever and let the barrel fall forward and it should technically throw the round out of the gun. Now I don't know with the weight of the suppressor, but let's try it. Yeah, I think that can gives it too much weight, but typically, usually, you're supposed to be able to just let it fall and it should sling the, the cartridge out of the chamber. That's how the minxes are. But anyway, probably just the extra weight from the can, it won't do it. Let's give it a try. Again, double single action. <laughs> wow, the tiny little gun, holy Moses. yards on the first try looking through the sights little bitty sights on this thing wow that's a tiny little gun man i mean the sights on this thing are so tiny and so minuscule that when you're when you're sighting this gun you kind of have to just look through the can because the suppressor obscures the sights but these guns i think where they kind of fall into their own and where they become a useful tool is maybe you're a guy that goes out and hunts hogs all the time and you need a dispatch pistol or maybe you do a lot of trapping and you need to have a dispatch 22 that you can just you know coup de gras take care of it so you're not damaging the hides for trapping purposes you know there's a lot of situations a gun like this could certainly be use useful for um, maybe ask the Israelis uh, they'd probably give you a bit of an idea but uh, I digress. All right, we're gonna shoot this a little bit more. I'm a fan of 22s. I like them. And this is just a fun gun to shoot. Yeah, is, is it real practical? Is it like a target pistol? No, it's not, but who cares? It's awesome. 
All right. <laughs> Thing is ridiculous. Oh, no dice. That one didn't feed. Okay. I mean, look at that group that I just shot with this thing. Looking through the sights, not even really, well, looking through the suppressor. Like I'm shooting with both eyes open and I'm just kind of like having to hover right there. But I shot that little tiny group with that gun. So the accuracy on these things is definitely on point. The only thing that I would, you know, maybe just add or, or say, you know, would be maybe a, an upgrade that would be nice to see on something like this. Maybe a little bit better set of sights. But for the price that these guns come in at, I think that it's a good buy to have something that's unique, especially if you're the kind of guy that just like to, or girl, to show up somewhere with a, a cool suppressed rig that is going to catch some eyes. I mean, this is not the kind of thing you see every day. You know what I mean? And it's unique. And I think that it's a certain kind of a, like collector's niche and a, an interesting, you know, footnote in Beretta's development in terms of these tip ups. I think it's cool to see it come full circle. And I've been a fan of these tip-up guns for years and years and years. And I've, I've always loved the tip-ups since the first Minx that I owned. Uh, I bought my first Minx when I was, I think I might've just turned 21. I found one at a pawn shop, a 1954 production Minx. And from that moment, I was just in love with these tip-ups. They are so much fun to shoot. All right, I've got some sodas here. Now, uh, <laughs> we're going to try to hit those sodas. We're, we're, you know, they're 25 yards away and we're kind of working with <clears throat> almost no sights, <laughs> but let's give it a try. I'm going to try to hit one of them. All right. Uh, I don't know where we're at here. No idea. Oh, we're shooting high. All right, let me see. There we go. Yep, just shooting a bit high. That's about my only complaint, is just the lack of a real sighting system when you're shooting suppressed. Now, it's worth noting, when you're point blank range, you don't need sights. Let's just put it that way. You take that for what you will. All right, again, load it the same way. 32, drop it right in, this is 32 ACP. All right, now let's give it a try up close here. Look at that group. All those rounds stack right where I was looking. So from a standpoint of using this gun up close and personal, for whatever purpose you might deem appropriate. Certainly uh, does that quite well. And that 22 surprised me on the accuracy there. I mean, that's almost 25 yards away and we stacked those rounds in the size of a silver dollar just looking through the suppressor and not really even using real sights, which even without a can on these guns, those sights leave a lot to be desired. And that's, it's the same sighting arrangement that's been on these guns since the 50s. My old Minxes have the exact same sights on them. I wanted to show these guns off because they're interesting. It's not something you see every day. A lot of people didn't, you know, may not know that Beretta still makes tip-ups, uh, modern tip-up barrel guns like these. So um, really cool. I do like the uh, the 32. Uh, it, it's a sweet gun. I'd really like to see one of these in 380 uh, if if the frame size would account for it. I don't know if they make one in 380, but it would be cool to see something like that. Mainly just because the 32 ammo is so hard to get now. Gosh, I, I had to look all over the dang place to find 32 ACP ammo. Over in Europe, 32 ACP is extremely popular and extremely common. Whereby here, 32 is maybe fell by the wayside a bit. But, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take one round out. Well, I'll, I'll strip it off the, off the mag. I'm going to shoot a few of these 32s in the dirt over here so you can hear how quiet it is. I'm just going to shoot them in the side of the berm over here. Just listen to this. Mm. 
It sounds like a staple gun. How about one down in the dirt right in front of me? Pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. All right, good stuff. And then of course to unload, you just, you can flip the barrel up and then instantly I can see the chamber's empty. And of course we drop the mag, inspect the mag, mag is empty. That's cool, so that's our 32. I got a couple more mags for the 20, 22 here. I think you guys get the idea. I think these guns are criminally underappreciated, you know? I really do enjoy these. Tell you what, I didn't try the double action on the 22. Let's try a double action trigger squeeze on this and uh, see what we can hit here. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, okay, that was odd. Let's try again. All right, got one mag left. Let's shoot our lonely soda there. Now this is just a, a CCI standard velocity. I have a little bitty short barrel here, but let's just peg this soda. I think I think we know exactly where to where to aim to hit that soda from here. I have to say the 22 might be a little bit more accurate than the 32, but both of them I'm very impressed with the accuracy. The only complaint I have with these guns in their current configuration is it'd just be nice to see maybe a little bit larger sights to help clear the suppressor. That'd probably put it in more, in more of a range toy category, but it's definitely in the tool category, if you know what I mean. So nice thing to have in the uh, bag of tricks. And i tell you what, just for fun, and since we're not really using sights anyway, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a little trick shot here with this thing. I'm gonna point it upside down and hit that soda bottle with this thing. Now we're looking at, oh, easier said than done. Let's see. See, that gun shoots low. So. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Kobe <laughs> nice all right let's try a long range shot just for fun <laughs> Woo. always a fun day cannot go wrong with suppressed 22 it is so much fun and a lot lower training costs to get out and have some fun i really like the 32 as well both these guns i think are worth looking at check them out uh, just want to make a quick video on these two i hope you all enjoyed today's video thanks so much for tuning in many more videos on the way we'll see you soon